Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. Well, in this video, we will see about uh, common conveyor belt problems. While it is impossible to compile a list of every bad situation you will ever encounter with your conveyor belt. This is a list of some of the concerns you are mostly like to face as well as their probable consequences. First one, the conveyor belt is tracking. Second one, belt slipping. Third one, these rollers and fourth blockages. Fifth is material spillage. See mechanical issues. Uh, first one, misaligned conveyor frame or supporting structure. Second, incorrect belt tension or uneven tensioning. Third one, worn or damaged pulleys, rollers or bearings. Fourth, improperly seated or worn out belt tracking guides. And fifth, inadequate or uneven conveyor belt support. Belt related issues. First one, incorrect belt selection for load or application. Second one, damaged or uneven belt surface. Belt shrinkage or expansion due to temperature changes. Fourth one, insufficient belt plates or improper heat spacing. Operational issues. First one, overloading or uneven loading. Inadequate conveyor speed control sudden starts or stops or for inadequate maintenance or clean. Environmental factors Temperature extremes or fluctuations Moisture or humidity Wind or air currents and uh, Fourth one is vibration from nearby equipment Other factors Poor conveyor design or installation Second one inadequate training or proper error Lack of Third point, lack of regular maintenance or inspections. Fourth point, component wear or failure due to age or usage. Here are the mechanical adjustments. First is the tracking guide adjustment. Adjust the tracking guides to ensure proper belt alignment. Further, uh, you can see the video. Second point, the pulley alignment. Align pulleys perpendicular to the belt. Third point roller alignment. Align rollers parallel to the belt. Fourth point belt tension adjustment. Adjust tension to prevent slack or power tensioning. Fifth point idler spacer adjustment. Adjust spaces to maintain equal spacing. Belt related adjustments. Belt training. Train the belt to run centrally on the conveyor. Second point belt crown adjustment. Adjust the belt crown to match the Fully diameter. Fourth point belt lagging adjustment. Adjust lagging to prevent belt slip. Conveyor frame adjustment. Frame alignment. Align the conveyor frame to ensure straight tracking. Frame leveling. Level the conveyor frame to prevent uneven wear. Operational adjustments. Speed adjustment. Adjust conveyor speed to reduce sway. And second one low distribution. Ensure even load distribution across the belt. Automatic tracking systems. Automatic tracking devices. Belt positioning systems. Electronic tracking systems. Other solutions. Belt stabilizers. Anti-sway brackets. Conveyor belt guides. And uh, fourth one tracking rollers. If you see the conveyor belt mistracking, how to adjust. This issue occurs when there is a conveyor belt tracking problem. Tracking is the process of managing and uh, aligning the belt onto the correct path. And it's uh, critical to ensuring the smooth functioning and output of your system. Miss tracking then is when something goes wrong along this track. In most cases, it means that the belt has slipped to one side or another and the entire system has shifted out of alignment. Miss tracking leads to numerous negative consequences. It has the potential to through the entire system of its specified course. But the consequences can also be less extreme than this. Mistracking might uh, simply lead to uneven belt wear, which is the cause of whole host of the other problems in its own right. If the belt slips entirely off the track, the whole system could begin malfunctioning and shut off. 
it's best to keep eye on for small signs of misdragging even if they don't seem to be causing much damage by catching this problem early on you can prevent it from worsening and creating large issues conveyor belt dragging troubleshooting when your belt starts dragging from side to side and uh, experiencing frayed edges you need to be little conveyor belt aligned troubleshooting Conveyor dragging problems can originate from various parts of your system. As soon as your belt starts misdragging, take a look at these potential problems. Conveyor frame. If your conveyor frame is crooked or slanted, it could be misguiding your belt. Check your framework from all angles and ensure the frame is level and square. Snub rollers. These rollers create more tension in your belt and make contact with the every pulley in the system. Tension is uh, crucial to tracking, so your snub rollers should align with your frame and uh, apply enough tension to the belt. Belt cutting conveyor belts can be cut incorrectly during manufacturing, making them crook. No matter how well the rest of your system runs, a crooked belt will cause tracking errors. Cleanliness build up on the belt and uh, pulleys can cause the belt to sway one way to another. Make sure all parts of the conveyors are clean to ensure a smooth run and uh, prevent failure. False crowns. Conveyor belts move a variety of items and uh, sometimes the material can snag or get stuck on the pulley. You can find crowns on the center of your end pulleys that distribute force to each other of the belt and uh, help it set on track. If a piece of debris gets lodged in another pulley, it can create a fake crown and redistribute weight where you don't need it. Check to see if you are pulley or clear of debris or avoid this. Belt slipping. Conveyor belts uh, really on a precise balance of uh, tension to work correctly. If there is too much tension or too little, uh, things begin to go away and uh, the belt can slip. Specifically, if the head pulley breaks down or even becomes uh, overly worn, there will no longer be enough tension to keep the belt from slipping around. This loss of tension can result in unnecessary stretching and strain on the belt as well as low uh, grating and uh, sequeling noises and the afro remensured slipping. It will require time consuming maintenance to a fix such as a problem as this. To avoid this situation, check all the parts and pieces of the conveyor belt regularly to ensure that they are not experiencing any undue wear and tear. Top Causes of Belt Conveyor Belt Slippage Since tension and balance uh, play massive role in belt operation and traction, there are few common causes of belt slippage. Once you are aware of the potential causes, you can keep an eye on problems areas to prevent slippage in the future. Common causes include power weight load. Your conveyor belt can only handle so much weight based on its pulleys and overall size. If you have tried to carry something that's exceeding heavy, your belt will typically slip off the pulleys instead of operating normally. Make sure the objects you are using on your belt fit the belt weight range. Low temperatures. If you are Working in cooler conditions than usual, it could affect the traction of your conveyor belt. Colder temperatures can reduce the grip between the belt and pulley, causing the belt to slip. If you regularly work in cold environments, choose a belt designed to withstand low temperature. Poorly installed lagging. While incorrect belt tension results from a variety of problems, lagging typically fixes those issues. Lagging is applied to the pulleys to improve grip and the belt but if the slang is improperly installed you may still experience slippage if you are not sure how to install pulley lagging yourself consult a professional pulley problems pulleys are common source of tension issues worn heads or pulleys with build up can reduce the belt grip ask in pulleys that too smooth the best way to prevent pulley problem is to actively check them for sign of wear when your conveyor belt constantly slips, it disturbs your daily operation and productivity. If you stay aware of these potential causes, you can prevent them before they happen. It's helpful to 
regularly inspect our mission especially the police as they often contribute to the belt seizure rollers in most cases conveyor belts are constructed from metallic materials such as steel this construction is good because it means the parts are usually highly durable and long lasting however uh, it also means that uh, when the rollers on the conveyor belt seized up they have an unfortunate tendency to develop sharp edges blockages the primary purpose of any conveyor belt system is to transport items efficiently from one location to another often to be a complex conveyor system it only makes sense that when this uh, efficient travel is disturbed the entire system stops work it's all too easy for a package to get caught when this happens the next item behind the first one gets caught and the pile up simply builds from there it can lead to the entire system becoming clogged and metal carry back while blockages are result of packages getting caught on sharp edges and blocking the other parts material carry back involves a build up of material on the belt itself and if you are working with material such as clay or mineral ores they can leave small amounts of residue behind while it may not seem like a much this material will increase and lead to accumulation underneath your belt causing problems with your rollers and pulleys this carry back can also cause safety issues down to road because excessive material build up can be fire hazard and certain materials can be dangerous if frequently inhaled material spillage there it's fairly common for there to be some issues with the material spillage at the some point along your conveyor system the terms refer to any material that accidentally slides or slips off the belt it's com most common along transfer and load part Thank you.